Hey, Sasha, how are you? Good. How are you? Good, thank you. What have you learned so far about your guys' potential as a three-point shooting team? Off to a pretty good start. Yeah, I think we got a lot of uh, a lot of young guys that can really shoot the ball. I think we've been moving it well um, on offense. I think we've been hitting each other in the in you know in the right uh, in the pocket, ready to shoot, um, everything like that. It's it's been going. Uh, so we've been shooting it well so far, but we got to continue it against uh, you know tougher competition moving forward. Yeah. It seems like you've been getting the right shots and guys have been taking the right shots. Has that been kind of your impression? Is that what you, I guess, saw in practice leading up to the season or has, has that been a little bit of a pleasant surprise given all the newness on this team? Yeah, just not taking tough shots, taking them in rhythm. Um, you know, we want to get open shots, you know, easy layups, easy threes every single time uh, down the floor offensively and making sure that we don't take tough contested shots is a big key and, you know, you only want to take those shots in late shot clock, shot clock situations. And um, I think we've done a pretty good job of that. We could definitely clean it up a little bit and uh, get better at that. But so far this season, I think we've done a, a pretty good job of doing that. Yeah, just the the possibility all season long of being able to put four guys who can shoot around Travion and Zach, that would seem like a pretty a pretty significant luxury. How do you kind of see that playing out from here on out? Yeah, I think uh, you said it. I think we – I think every single player on our team minus our bigs can really shoot the three and shoot it really well. I think uh, everybody on our team kind of has the potential to shoot 35% plus, which is pretty good in, in college basketball. So uh, yeah, definitely just spacing the floor and, you know, Travion, you know, obviously you guys know is one of the best passing bigs. Um, so his ability to, you know, draw a double team and kick it out to one of us and us move the ball and hit each other in, uh, in our shooting Shooting pocket is is uh, huge moving forward, and like I said, we've done a good job of it, but we could always continue to keep getting better at it. Yeah. How much do you take it upon yourself to kind of be the veteran uh, of this group at times? It seemed like in the Liberty game there was that situation where, like, they got within six or whatever, and I think you had the ball three straight times, made the right play three straight times, made a three, got the ball inside twice. Do you sort of take that upon yourself here to to kind of be the the – the adult in the room, for lack of a better term, from a basketball experience perspective in key moments? Yeah, I think, um, you know, us, or, you know, me along with the older guys on the team, you know, we've played in I don't know how many games now, but we've played in a lot of college basketball games and a lot of high-level elite, elite talent um, games where, you know, we've been in games, we've made it to an Elite Eight, we've won a Big Ten championship, we've, you know, we've been there and done that, and uh, now that, you know, that experience that we, that we have gotten has to, you know, be shown now. Like, you can't just say, like, oh, I played in this game and everything like that. And right. you got to show it and you got to improve and you got to, you know, show that you're experienced. And, um, yeah, it's just something I've been trying to work on, trying to be more, like, poised out there, trying to be – make the right decisions, um, not take bad shots, not turn the ball over, guard my man better. And all while doing that, making sure my teammates are doing it as well and communicating with them. And, um, yeah, I think that's, that's a, a thing that I've been trying to do, and I'm definitely, definitely still working on it. All right. This is going to seem random, but had Purdue not come through with that scholarship for you the spring or senior year, do you know where you would have gone? I mean, yeah, if you're looking at uh, – for me to say I would have went to Valpo, huh. I probably would have went. Either Valpo or, or Loyola were my top two choices. It was kind of between you. those. So it was um, – I really I really enjoyed the staff at Valpo. I, I liked what they were doing. I, they had a lot of talent with uh, – at the time, like Alec Peters and a lot of those guys that were – you know, they made a significant impact on their program. So, yeah, they were always the program that I kind of looked at. Did you have any kind of connection to them? Did you play open gym with their guys or anything like that, being from Crown Point? Or? Yeah, I would, I would go up there often. Um, you know, every once in a while I'd go up there. Like I said, Alec Peters was like kind of a big influence. Like he was a, he was a really good guy and kind of helped me a lot whenever I'd go to those other gyms. And, you know, just he was a, he was a great guy. I mean, he got drafted in the NBA. He's playing in Europe right now. So um, just picking his brain any time that I would go up there was, uh, was a cool thing. Right. There's just one last thing I want to ask you about. What did, the, what did the cutout of your grandpa mean to you? Oh, yeah, it was, really, it was a really cool gesture to see um, – Jake Brossman, our former manager, um, just out of the kindness of his heart. Like, he's one of the greatest greatest people I know. Just, you know, decided that he wanted to do that for me and my family. And it meant a lot because, 
not a lot of people would think to do that for somebody that's not, you know, a family member or right. like, you know, really close friend that you've grown up with or anything like that. But for him to think of that, to do that was, uh, was really huge. And it was a, it was a really nice gesture. And, you know, I, my, my family reached out to him and everything like that, but it was a cool thing to see. And it's nice to have, you know, that, that cut out of him, you know, front row and everything. So it was really nice. Right. I'm good. Thank you, Sasha. Yep. Thank you. Bob, I see you with your hand up there. Go ahead. Hey, Sasha. Um, you've played with a lot of great bigs since you've been at Purdue. Where where does Zach Eady sort of fit into the fit into that group, at least in terms of how does he compare in terms of his early development? Yeah, he's definitely made a huge impact so far in these these first few games. He's uh, it was really surprising me the way he's been playing. He's been aggressive, catching the ball in post and sealing uh sealing deep and he's really rebounded it well um you know ball screen defense he's he's uh been moving a lot better than i thought he would originally at this time but um yeah he's been he's been really big for us he's a he's a a good um player off the bench for us right now and making a real big impact scoring defensively and rebounding does it surprise you that he only took up the game a couple couple years ago uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, yeah, you could definitely see he's a little still raw and everything and just he's just new to the game of basketball. But uh, his development, you know, is uh, it's really been impressive how quickly he's been able to learn our system, learn, learn the game, really, and just make make it like impact. Like I said. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else for Sasha? <laughs> yeah, I got I got one. Uh, Go ahead, Mike. Just to the back to the leadership thing, is that something that you tried to to lay a foundation in the off season as much as you could when you were around the guys? Is that something you tried to start then, so you did, didn't just show up on the court and try to be a leader? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Anytime that we didn't have a lot of stuff on the court, obviously because of you know this whole pandemic. So anytime that we got into you know zooms or you know just talking to guys and messaging them or whatever it may be, but um, just you know making sure that. Um, you know, we're always doing the right thing, whether it's in the classroom, on the court, socially, anything like that. Just making sure that, you know, as an as older guy, we, we, we know that, um, you know, what's right and what's wrong and, and just kind of communicating it to the younger guys. All right. Thank you. Yep. Anyone else? Great. Thank you. Thank you.